How's it going guys? It's Red, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the brand new fastest method that you guys can be using to farm supply points right here in Back for Blood. Now using this method each game should take you just about two to three and a half minutes and you are going to be getting like 45 supply points at the absolute minimum that is playing on recruit. But before we get into that if you're new here to the channel make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more awesome Back for Blood content just like this. Also make sure to check out the link to my discord server it's going to be down in the description below you guys can use it to find teammates to play back for blood with so if you guys are in dire need of some teammates make sure to check out the discord server and without further ado i hope you guys enjoy the video Okay, so when we're actually in the game, all we're going to be doing is just looping one mission over and over and over and over again. So the quickest way to do that is to come over to talk to this guy, and you're going to want to click on the campaign, and then you're going to want to create a run. It's going to be an act one, and the starting point is going to be called Barroom Blitz. So something of note is that on Recruit, you can set your starting point to Barroom Blitz specifically, but on Veteran, Barroom Blitz isn't a starting point, so you would have to play a few missions to get it beforehand. So if that's something you guys want to do, you can play it on Veteran, you'll get, you know, just more supply points from playing the missions beforehand, and you'll get more when the actual Barroom Blitz comes in, but you won't be able to loop it as fast, which, I mean, that just might be slower in general. So make sure to pick a Barroom Blitz as your mission of choice, and then you're just going to want to start matchmaking. Okay, so I just loaded into the actual Barroom Blitz mission. It took me about 30 seconds of queuing, but for some reason, it didn't queue me in with any actual players either. So I, I guess I'm doing a solo run, but I can actually get supply points for it now. So I don't know, this might happen to you guys too, but it just never happened to me before. Okay, so we are just looking to complete this mission as quick as possible, so we are actually going to try to go out of our way to get over to the bar as quick as humanly possible. So we're not really going to go out of the way and try to interact with anything else, you know, we're not going to try to like kill extra ridden or anything like that, we are just trying to loop this mission over and over and over. Now, I would recommend getting a toolkit because there is going to be a toolkit door here. And when you're playing on like the harder difficulties and stuff like that, there's going to be like a heal station and everything in here. So you guys are going to have not much trouble at all beating this if you get, you know, like the toolkit and everything like that. So, like I said, this, this place is just super decked out too. It really, really shouldn't be hard at all to survive but all we gotta do is we just gotta start the jukebox it's gonna call a horde and i would recommend camping just behind this bar right here because let me tell you man nothing's gonna catch you at all so and i mean we don't have to do anything else we literally just have to sit here and live that's that's it but yeah i mean honestly even on like like veteran and stuff like that this is not hard at all because you know we have the healing station right there and you know we have like the supply boxes always right there we got like infinite molotovs we you know have a lot of weapons a lot of offense accessories they just kind of give us everything in here and it's really just not hard at all to not die and here we are we just finished the mission this took me about two and a half three ish minutes like to be and that wasn't hurt at all like i had absolutely no fear of dying that entire time so and we got 44 supply points for that and for being on recruit that's really really good well, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Make sure to leave a comment down below telling me what you guys think of this brand new supply point farming method. And as always, if you happen to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome Back for Blood content just like this. Also, make sure to check out the Discord link. It's going to be down in the description below. You can use it to find teammates to play Back for Blood with. So if you guys are in dire need of some teammates, just come check out the Discord server. And until next time, it's been Red, and I'll see you guys in the next video.